Hey everybody, Roy Isaac here from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. You're watching TJV Trucker Josh on YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Has the worst of it hit yet? Has it passed yet? Let me know down below where you're at and how things are. So far I'm doing good, still healthy. Still uh, not expecting, I wanna go left here. Not expecting to get sick really, but you know, none of us are. But I'm at low risk, so don't worry about me, worry about yourself, worry about your uh, older family members. Make sure they don't have to leave the house. And if they can't do it themselves, make sure you're over there disinfecting everything in their house and cleaning it for them. Gotta disinfect everything. It's the one good thing, if you can call it that, that's come out of this crisis, is that everything is now clean. At least it should be. So we're here in uh, BC. Uh, we're in St. Prince George, BC. Oh, I actually wanted to go left. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're gonna go this way. I wanna grab some fuel. Oh, we'll grab some fuel on the way down, I guess. We gotta get going, we gotta get this freight delivered. At Prince George, BC, we're headed south now down Highway 97. My next delivery is in uh, Quesnel. I think I was calling it Quensel yesterday. I don't know what it's called. Quesnel, BC. Got a piece of deliver there, and then we go down to uh, Salmon Arm. I'm trying to get there today before end of day yet. And then I'm gonna deliver Vernon and Kelowna. If I can't get those done today, I'll have to do those tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I'm hoping that they're not going to reduce their business hours because of this virus. If they are, well, then we're uh, hanging out in that area for the weekend. Quesnel. Quesnel? Quesnel? Quesnel. Quesnel, British Columbia. So I've delivered my crate. And it looks like the rest of my deliveries are going to be pushed into tomorrow on Saturday. I called all the customers. They're all open for business tomorrow as usual. They say unless if something drastic happens and no one's surprised if that does happen, uh, we'll be unloading tomorrow. So three more drops to do tomorrow and I'll be in Salmon Arm around supper time today. Oh, there's a customer calling me right now. Good thing I had my headset on. Right on. So, uh, they will be open, so all three of my customers tomorrow will be open. Highway, Highway 97. Oh, that's a yellow light. That's yellow light. Okay. We're living in cautious times. We're not going to risk that one. So you can watch this traffic go across here for a bit. Uh, so yeah, all three of my customers are going to unload me tomorrow. They're all within an hour of each other, so we'll probably be empty before noon. And I just got a message from the load god saying, I have an option of either picking up trailers in Lethbridge or going to Sundry, Alberta, pick up lumber that's going to Minnesota or Wisconsin. I'm not too sure. In 200 meters, turn left on. Highway, Highway 97. I didn't know I was going to have options. I guess it depends how much that lumber pays. I need to keep moving. And the border's still open for me right now, so I could run down to Wisconsin. I think I'm going to take the U.S. load. That'll keep me moving. And I'll just request that I go home for a reset. And we'll see where the world is at at that point. If uh, the world gets worse, then... I guess we're just gonna shelter in place, as they say, at home until it gets better. But at least now I have an option to keep moving. Somebody in Wisconsin still wants our lumber, so let's bring it to them. And I'm sure someone in Canada would like to have some stuff in return as well. So let's keep this economy moving, let's keep running. I'm gonna keep going until uh, the law comes down and tells me that I can. And let's hope that that day doesn't come. Because that'd be scary. Continue on this road for 118 kilometers. All right, Karen. We're about a half hour from Kamloops. Scenery 
here is starting to get pretty nice. Well, it's been nice all day. I think I'm gonna stop at the Petro Pass on the east side of Kamloops there, see if I can grab a shower. And take a little break there and I talk to the customer and salmon arm that I gotta deliver to in the morning. And they're gonna be ready for me and they told me I can actually park like right there overnight so that I'm there first thing in the morning for them. Which is nice because I don't know where to exactly park in Salmon Arm. I think they have a, an Esso truck stop. But it's kind of nice I can just stop right at the customer this way and uh, be ready for them when they get there in the morning. And uh, I decided not to take the load into Wisconsin. We're going to pick up those trailers in uh, Lethbridge and bring them back to our yard. This truck has got to go to the shop again to get the engine looked at. That injector needs to be looked at and I just had to top off my antifreeze a little bit. I must have a leak somewhere and I couldn't find it anywhere and that concerns me a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on that because if you don't see the antifreeze coming out anywhere and your antifreeze level's going down, that's not a good sign at all. It means it's going into the engine somewhere. That caused big problems, so <laughs> that's another reason we're stopping just down the road here, just to check to see uh, if it stayed at the level that I put it at. It's, it wasn't too much I had to put in, but it was enough to you know, raise my eyebrows a little bit. I don't know if I've developed a leak, but hopefully I can find out where that leak is and get it fixed pretty quickly. I can probably do that myself. Everything stresses me out a little bit. And, I don't even know if I'm going to take it straight to the shop, but when I get home, first of all, I'm going to see where the world's at with this whole pandemic, and I might just park the truck and go home. I might need the money that I was that I need to fix the truck, and I might need it for food and stuff over the next couple of months. By the time you're watching it, this, it's probably a week later. You have to remember all my videos are behind, so you're looking into the past for me, and everything is changing so quickly that it might be a total different situation by the time you watch this, so. One can only hope that it's a lot better. And that I got my truck fixed and that I'm still trucking. And that, I don't know. But the sounds of it is gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Nothing but stress, man. Nothing but stress. Well, if I gotta park this truck because I can't afford to fix it right now, uh, then I'll probably jump into, I guess, a company truck again. I don't know. I have no idea what I'll do. If I can defer these payments for a few months because of the pandemic. We'll see. I'll hope and pray, right? Hope and pray for the best. Try to enjoy the nice scenery around me, but it's really hard to. So much more on my mind. So I pulled over here in a town called Savin or something like that, Savin, and I checked to see if I could find any leaks. I found the leak. So that's good news. The, the antifreeze is not going into the oil. That is really bad if that's the case. So it's not. My water pump. My water pump is on the way out and it's going to need to be replaced. I called my dad up on a video chat and showed him what was going on and he's had that problem before. So he says, yeah, it's time to get that thing replaced. It's not that expensive, and I could do it myself. When it rains, it pours, and when it pours, there's a cloud burst, and it all falls down at once. So this thing's getting a new water pump. But thank God, thank God the antifreeze isn't going into the oil. That that calms my fears down. That calms my fears down. My engine is not going to blow up. We'll just keep a very close eye on it. It's not leaking very much at all. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it and I'm hoping I can get back to the shop at home. And I can buy the part there and uh, see how much they'll charge me just to throw one on there. It's only gonna take them like a half hour. Uh, it's probably a minimum of an hour charge. But the truck's in the shop anyways, but I don't know. We'll, uh, we know 
what the problem is at least. Problem after problem after problem. Man, it's a good thing I love my job. Otherwise I'd be one very miserable, depressed man. This is nuts already. Now you know why I keep sniffing around the new trucks. The sooner I can get into one of those, the better. And the sooner this pandemic ends, the better. Everything's sort of depending on that. Well, I decided to spend the night here in Kamloops. I had a nice shower, cleaned myself up, uh, watched the news a little bit in their driver's lounge. No one was in there, it's just me. And the TV was on, so I just watched a little bit of what's going on actually. And I don't know what it's like now when you're watching this already, but this was on, uh, this vlog was filmed. I usually try not to tell you the date that I filmed my vlogs on, just because, uh, I, they're usually a little bit further behind and I don't think it's really relevant usually because I want the storyline to be consistent on YouTube but with this whole epidemic and pandemic whatever you call it it's been a little bit a little different so anyway I'm filming this on uh, March 20th 2020 that was today's vlog uh, I know you're probably watching this the next week so the reason I tell you that is because everything is changing so quickly and with this pandemic, uh, every day sort of seems like a year. Uh, so many changes. So by the time you watch this, things could be totally different. But I was watching the news about Italy, 627 deaths just today. And they showed footage from inside their ICU rooms and units and it's just, wow. Wow. I hope and pray that you guys are all doing well. We'll start tomorrow's day right here. Uh, go get the rest of these deliveries done. Start making our way to Alberta where we're gonna pick up our load and then we're gonna go home and uh, decide what to do from there. Thanks for watching. Hope you're, uh, hope you're all right. Talk to you tomorrow.